What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, uh, we are going to create and modify uh, pilasters in the walls. So to do this, we are going to use the column grid that is based on the CAD file, which is created by the architect. This will gonna be a very short uh, video, okay? Just to give you an idea. Okay, so let's go to the structure and then I'm going to select here the structural wall. And then from the type selection, just make sure the placement here is set to vertical column. And then from the type selector, I'm going to select here 600 by uh, 600. Okay. And then after that, uh, currently I'm on basement. So I'm going to select your height. And then I'm going to select here uh, first floor. So that will going to be from basement level up to the uh, first floor level. Okay, so I'm going to place my column and I'm going to put it here on intersection uh, grids B2. Okay, so I'm going to pick here to place it. And there you go. And then I'll just select here modify. So that's it. Okay, and also I'm going to place another... Uh, column here on my B3. Okay, so what I can do is I can select again the structural column or I can also type CL or you can also do this. Um, you can click the column and then you can right click and then you can select here create uh, similar. So you click that create similar and then you will be creating the same type of uh, family. Okay, so let's do this and then I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here on the intersection of B3 here. Let's click there and that's it. And then I'll select here modify. Now I'm going to open up the 3D view. Let's open up the 3D view. And then this is the uh, column that we have created, the pilaster. So I'm going to select this because I want to edit this. So let's say I want to adjust the top portion and, and extend it above, like for example, 900 mm. So to do that, let me just change my view here, go to the view and then I'll select here tile views. So I can also see my floor plan. So there's the column. So here on my 3D view, I'll just change here the properties and I'm going to change the top offset. So I click the top offset. I'm going to make this 900. And then I'll enter. And it will now extend. Okay, so that's how you modify your column. And another thing, if you want that to be aligned to the CAD drawing, like for example, this is the CAD drawing. Okay, this one. So what you can do is you can use the align tool. You can select modify and then you can use the align tool okay and then you just need to select this area or this face where you want to align your column so you click that and then you select your column like this one okay and then i'll just select again this line here and then i'll select this one there you go so it's now aligned and then you can click the lock here so that just in case you move your grids, your column will follow. So let's try this. So I'm going to click this grid and then if I move the grid, you will notice the column will follow, right? So it's following. Okay, so I'm just going to undo. All right. So it's now updated. So where's that? So that's the one there. Okay. Okay. And let's say I want to align this as well. So I'm going to select align here, select this face here, and then select this. And there you go. Okay. Right. And then the next thing is I'm going to... Uh, create and modify masonry uh, pilasters again. So same procedure. So I'll go here on my floor plan and then I'll select here modify. 
So here on my floor plan, I'm going to select the structural column. And then I'm going to use 400 by 400. And as you can see, there is no such thing as that size here. So we only have 450 by 450. Now, if you want to have a new one, so you can just duplicate this. You can select edit type and then you will see the type properties and then just select here duplicate and then let's just change the name so I, i'm gonna change that to 400 by 400 okay and then just make sure you change the dimension here to 400 as well and then just select here okay that's it okay and then we are going to put that on uh, intersection 8.5 grid and 2 which is this one so let us just where is that grid okay so this the one so I'm gonna place it here there you go and then I'll select here modify take note that you can also do the aligning on the 3d view so you can do that here on the floor plan and you can also do that in the 3d view so like for example as you can see it's not aligned here so i'm going to select modify select the align tool and then i'm going to select this face you click that fa uh, face and then you click this face here to align it and then again you can lock it so what happens is when you move the wall your pilaster or your column will follow okay so let's click the wall let's try out click the wall on the floor plan and then you can move that so as you can see your column is following because of that uh, feature then let me just undo to put it back okay so that's it for this one and another thing is you can also change here the material so let's say you want the same material as this one so let's uh, go to the edit type and then you can check out the structure here edit and then as you can see the material of that wall is masonry cmu or masonry concrete masonry units right so that is the same material that i would like to apply here on my pilaster so i'm gonna select this and then after that i'm going to select um, structural material here and then click that and then click that ellipsis button that one and then you will see your material browser here and now you can search here you can type so let's say uh, masonry and then i'm gonna select masonry concrete masonry units so that's the material that i like so i'll just select here okay and there you go so it's now applied here okay right so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching have a nice day